San Juanan, Tobel, dear staff and students. Our registration figures for the 2019 academic year show that our university continues to attract some of the best performing students in South Africa, on the continent, and other parts of the world. As I walked about campus, I could feel a sense of excitement among our students, eager to learn and to begin the academic year. To date, our university has recorded more than 65% of our total registration, which is over 32,000 inclusive of undergraduate and postgraduate students. Our total planned registration for this year is 52,244 students, and we expect to reach our target by next Friday, the 1st of February, 2019 when our, our registration period closes. I would like to thank all staff members who make this process proceed without glitches, particularly our staff at the UJ call center, student enrollment, faculties, and the registrar's office. While we work towards starting our teaching and learning programs, on Monday the 4th, February 2019, our various divisions are all set out to roll out their various offerings. The Johannesburg Business School will host its masterclass offering on Friday the 1st, February 2019. These three-hour sessions will equip you with the latest insight and practical understanding to make an impact in your business or your organization in the fourth industrial revolution era. The first master class to be facilitated by Professor Lyle White, Senior Director, JBS, will focus on understanding the complexities of Africa within the global economic context and to explore some competitive strategies for success. I urge you to register for these sessions for self-empowerment. This week, some of our staff and students raised our university flag in their various fields. Our student, Elao Martin, who is enrolled for the master's degree in architecture, is the original winner of the Korobrik Architectural Student of the Year Award and 10,000 rands prize for his final year thesis was awarded. He is one of the Eight young architects from South African universities acknowledged for their innovation in the field. He will proceed to the national contest where the winner will be rewarded with a 70,000 rand prize money. Well done, Martin. Best wishes in the national competition. We are all behind you. I congratulate uh, Professor Bassi von Solomons the director of the Center for Cybersecurity at UJ and the research professor in the Academy for Computer Science and Software Engineering, who has been acknowledged by Parliament for his leading role in highlighting the importance of South African cybersecurity initiatives in a global context. This World Economic Forum's Global Future Council on Cybersecurity, an invitation only community consisting of 19 leading international experts on cybersecurity is the newest of the World Economic Forum's Global Future Councils, covering 38 topic areas committed to reshaping a global system for the benefit of humanity and the planet and acting as a brain trust for the World Economic Forum and the world at large. Well done, Professor on Solms. We are proud of you. To our staff members, I have shared with you the new approach that the university is taking to accurately record and manage our performances in accordance with our institutional objectives. As recently mentioned, 
staff and managers contracting for 2019 and training on the new system will commence before the end of January and continue in February. Permanent and fixed-term contract staff with access to computers will be receiving regular updates via the specific performance management email while those without computers will engage directly with their line managers. Speaking of our performance and objectives, UJ welcomes Professor David Edwards, a high-profile industry figure who will support training and research in his comprehensive status within the Faculty of Engineering and the Built Environment. Edwards is a renowned professor of plant and machinery management at Birmingham City University. The Dudley Academic already has a professorship with several international universities in the United Kingdom, Australia, and Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology in Ghana. His expertise in engineering design and machinery health, as well as safety, has seen him work alongside the UK and the US Departments of Defense and various government bodies. Welcome on board, Professor Edwards. On Tuesday, the 22nd of January, our university extended its international footprint with the signing of a memorandum of understanding for academic collaboration with Renmin University of China. UJ hosted a senior delegation from Renmin University with Professor Wu Fulai, Vice Chairman of Renmin University Council. Professor Fulai and Professor Sorab Sina, UJ Deputy Vice Chancellor for Research and Internationalization, formalized our partnership. Areas of common interest will include humanities, social sciences, and economics. This partnership will enhance student and staff mobility, establish joint research projects and grant applications, and among other important areas of academic interest. The MOU will also explore the possibility of developing a trilateral agreement between UJ, Remnim, and our government. As part of our efforts to enhance our global excellence and status strategy, our university continues to participate in important events across the world. The head of our School of Leadership, Dr. Sidney Mufamadi, is representing our university at the annual general meeting of the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland. As part of the 57-member delegation from South Africa, led by our president, Cyril Ramaphosa, they are among 3,000 delegates of participating countries engaging on ways to address problems facing the world. Next week, I will share insights on our university's 4.0 uh, strategies and advances at Oxford University in the United Kingdom. I am invited to speak at the Oxford Union uh, to speak about the role of AI in advancing humanity. Additionally, I will be speaking at the Rhodes uh, Trust uh, on the topic of the fourth industrial revolution, and I will proceed to the University of London, the London Business School, where I am going to talk about challenges and opportunities of the fourth industrial revolution. It is indeed an honor for me to be invited to the Oxford Union as you might be aware, uh, previous uh, people who have spoken at Oxford uh, Union include uh, Prime Minister uh, Churchill, as well as scientist Albert Einstein. Our participation on these prestigious platforms will further enhance 
the reputation and the brand of the University of Johannesburg and will highlight to the global community our Pan-African strategy and agenda. Reading is an integral part of human development, whether for leisure or career advancement. Therefore, I am initiating a reading series called the Vice Chancellor's Reading Group, which will consist of selected book titles of my choices. I will be hosting these sessions in partnership with our UJ libraries and information center. And my first recommended book read is AI Superpowers, China, Silicon Valley, and the New World Order, which was authored by Kai Fu Li. The inaugural reading group session is scheduled for Wednesday, the 13th of February, 2019, at half past five in the Auckland Park Kingsway Campus Library. Please note that this series is open to UJ staff, postgraduate students, and alumni only. Let us reimagine our future together for a better tomorrow. With my very best wishes, all the best for next week. Thank you very much. Nia Bonga. Bye, Adanki.